Welcome to the Station Bakery. Here are five cake styles that are currently trending. What's up y'all? I'm Court and on my channel, I like to share all things home baking, from cake decorating to business tips and just everyday life as a home baker. So the first one is one that I'm sure you've probably seen floating around the internet and some of you might've actually already done it before. Using palm spears and dry floors is a cute and chic trend that is sure to give your cakes an elevated vibe. I have found that knowing where to find these palm spears and dry floors can be a little bit tricky and easy even a bit pricey. So here's where you can get your hands on some and some alternatives to save you some money. First, check with your local floors to see if they have any on hand and if not, you can always try your hand at Etsy, although the prices may be a little high on there. Next, try your local craft store and buy fake florals. They have tons of options that can fit any vibe and feel that you're going for on your cake and the cost is much lower. For the palm spears, you can actually now buy molds to create these. So you can mold it with fondant or chocolate. You can get them from Amazon and I'll have them linked in the description below. You can also buy some really cute ones from this online shop here. The next trend utilizes flowers as well, but in a much different way. Using pressed florals to decorate a cake gives a natural look and is a fun way to make unique cakes. If you choose to use this style, look for flowers that are edible. You can check with the local florists to see where you can purchase some. Another trend that cakers and bakers are loving is a traditional style cake that was considered to be a very skilled technique back in its time. But it died and is now being revitalized. I guess you could say retro. It's called Lambeth style cakes and these cakes are covered in intricate piping designs that stem way back to the original technique of over piping with layers of details. This is a style that I wasn't too impressed with when I first saw it. But as I learn more about it and I see all of the interesting takes from all of you amazing bakers. I have to say I am now a huge fan of this style. The best part of this style is that there is no need to go out and buy anything new to recreate it because it uses piping tips and that's something that most cakers and bakers already have. My next cake style is one that I absolutely fell in love with when I first saw it. I can totally see this becoming a staple design for cakers and bakers everywhere. I'm talking about arch and square cakes. Have y'all seen them yet? I found these cakes through Copper Fork Cakes and I want to say that she's the one who kind of created this design and style. I don't know, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but that's who I have to give credit to because that's where I first saw these cakes. These are pristinely designed cakes that if done properly will really make your cakes shine and stand out amongst the rest. It's definitely a more modern and sleek feel and it's almost like an elevated version of the trending cake top four cakes. It's usually paired with florals and abstract buttercream and also these cute little arched cake toppers. To get the sharp edges and the shape, a template would be best for this, but it's totally doable by just eyeing it, although it might not be as sharp and pristine. This next trend is one that I strongly believe is going to lead the way and shift our mindset on how and what we use to create and decorate our cakes. Using other food mediums like rice paper and wafer paper is growing more and more in popularity for bakers and cakers all around the world. You might have first seen these papers being used as toppers that you wet and then shape and mold however you like and then left to dry and then placed on top of a cake. However, we are now seeing new techniques being tried with the rice and wafer paper, such as frying it to give it a more puffy and textured feel before placing it onto the cakes. Wrapping, decorating, and topping cakes with this fried wafer paper and rice paper is so easy and is such a great new way to take your cakes to the next level. I love learning more and more about the cake and baking industry and seeing all of the creative ways that we find to enhance and move forward and push the limits on cake decorating. Would you try any of these trends or have you already tried any of them? Let me know in the comments below and like this video. Then I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.